Well, a Florida member of Congress is calling on the state's top health officer to step down. Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz of South Florida is calling for the state's Surgeon General, Dr. Joseph Ladapo, to resign from office. In a letter this month, Ladapo gave some controversial advice to parents after a measles outbreak in a Broward County school. He said parents have a choice whether they send their unvaccinated children to school amidst the outbreak, but that is counter to federal recommendations. The CDC advises that unvaccinated students should stay home from school for three weeks if they've been exposed. Wasserman Schultz called the state health officials recommendation irresponsible. Surgeon General Ladapo is a misinformation super spreader. So I'm calling for his immediate termination. Measles is a public health threat to Florida. And so is Joe Ladapo. He repeatedly endangers, endangers lives, contradicts public health expertise for political points. The Florida Department of Health issued a statement to Fox News saying in part the Surgeon General's current guidance ensures that parents or guardians are able to make the best decisions for their families regarding school attendance. More than 20 years ago, health officials declared victory in the battle to eradicate measles, a highly contagious disease which can cause pneumonia and encephalitis. But here in the U.S. and around the world, measles is making a comeback. The Centers for Disease Control says the U.S. has already documented 35 cases in the first seven weeks of this year, compared with 56 cases for all of last year. Florida, with 10 cases, has the most in the country. So April, we learned at the end of this week too that Orlando now has four measles cases, so the outbreak continues. So what, what do you make of Wasserman Schultz calling for Ladapo to resign? It's nothing new, it's not unusual. The Democrats have called for Ladapo to resign since the day he was appointed. Um, they don't like the fact that he constantly defers to the parents to make better decisions for their children rather than enforcing regulations, but that's the way he operates. That's his belief that, that, that it should be a parental responsibility to do it. It's so unfortunate that we have a large group of people that are not vaccinating their children, but um, hopefully we don't see this continue to spread and get worse because then, of course, somebody's going to have to do something to stop it because mm -hmm. the measles are deadly or can be deadly to children. Howard, how, how do you see this? I mean, par parental rights, that's a freedom issue, but also mm -hmm. the issue to be free from disease once you put your kids in school. That's a freedom issue, too. Well, I'm glad to hear that uh, it's unfortunate that some parents aren't getting their children vaccinated. But the very least that the Surgeon General could have done was to encourage parents to get their kids back. I mean, we do defer to the rights of parents, but he could have asked parents to do the right thing and get their kids vaccinated. But to send kids to, to allow parents to send their kids to school is to spread disease. And we have an, an increasing epidemic of measles in, in the country and in Florida. And people, you know, first of all, I think I want to say that the Congresswoman's uh, anger is misplaced. It's not at the Surgeon General. It should be at the governor. The governor created the Surgeon General. The governor, the governor hired him because he's a disinformation uh, campaign for medical information. The governor hired him and he is now, I have to say, endangering the lives of the children of the of uh, the families of Florida. Let me go back to April on that question. Do you think the governor, along with the, the Surgeon General, are endangering the lives of kids here in Florida? Not intentionally whatsoever, absolutely not. I think that they believe that they're doing the right thing, which is why they're doing what they're doing. And the governor has long supported Dr. Ladapo, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, Kimberly, let me bring you in on this. I mean, the, the, one of the hallmarks of the DeSantis administration is parental rights. And I'm wondering, uh, you know, at the same time, some parents are worried that kids who are unvaccinated may uh, s help spread the disease in their school. H how strong is that parental rights movement in Tallahassee, where you are? Uh, and, and, uh, and, you know, this is really consistent, though, with the governor's stand on parental rights. Sure, but I will say, so first of all, parental rights here in Tallahassee is definitely like the third rail of Florida politics, you know, and we're really seeing that even um, here with the social media bill, for example, and the backlash over that, questions over whether there was enough carve out given for parental rights. But I think one of the things that's really interesting when it comes to the MMR vaccine, which first of all, I've, I've been covering healthcare policy prior to covering politics for, t for 10 years. And so, 
it has always been this controversial thing, but usually among more left-leaning parents who misguidingly, mis improperly, and falsely believed that it was connected to autism. That seems to have sort of switched where we have a little more vac vaccine skepticism created on the right due to the COVID-19 vaccine skepticism that was created. But it does. I wouldn't necessarily assume, first of all, that parents didn't vaccinate because they were skeptical. You know, maybe they just got off schedule. Maybe they just didn't have time. There's a lot of reasons that people don't necessarily keep up with immunizations. But the thing that I kept on thinking back to was when there was that round table in the Palm Beach area um, that the governor and a bunch of other health experts did about COVID-19 vaccine skepticism. And one thing they said repeatedly throughout that round table was, we're not recommending against other vaccines. We only have an issue with the COVID-19 vaccine. But it seems like that message clearly got muddled. Okay. Well